my name is teacher David, Mr. David. Uh, professionally, I teach mathematics and chemistry. That is my area of teaching, although I can teach other things. Now, uh, there are things you have, even yourself, you have had students say that mathematics and the chemistry is difficult or they find it difficult. Why do they find it difficult? You find this person scoring history very high, CRE, geography, but you realize that these other subject, maths and the chemistry, the person is still struggling. Now there is one secret about maths and the chemistry. Unlike other sciences, physics and uh, biology, you cannot compare biology, physics with the chemistry. This is the reason. Mm, chemistry cannot, the, 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 depends on the previous class. For you to understand form two work, you must have understood form one work. For you to understand form three, the mall, for example, for you to be able to solve the mall problems, you must have understood form two, how to balance equations the structure of the atom, relative atomic mass, RAM. So these are the things which you needed to understand in Form 2, so for you to understand in Form 3. When you come to Form 4, Form 4 will be very boring. Chemistry Form 4 can be very, very boring if you don't know the chemistry in Form 1, Form 2, and Form 3. In fact, Mathematics and the chemistry is like building a store house. A store house is a house which has a gorofa. So chemistry from one nigrofa is, is the first store house. So you cannot build the fourth house when you do not have the foundation, when you do not have from one work. So for other subjects, you can read from four, for example, history. You can read Form 4 work and you get the topic there, you understand. Because it does not depend on the previous uh, thought or knowledge. But for this one, if you want to change your grade in mathematics, if you want to change your grade in chemistry, what you need to do is to go down to Form 1 work and try to build up come to form two. In fact, the mother of chemistry is form one and form two work. The reason why most students struggle with chemistry is because when they were in form one, they were young. They could not understand. When they were told to read, to study, they were too young to, to know what they want in, in school. So you see, in form one, most students are jokers. In form two, they discover themselves. They are struggling with so many things, adolescents. So you find that they cannot concentrate. So at the time they realize themselves in Form 3 and Form 4, you realize that it is too late. You realize that they find the workload very heavy and they, most of them they lose hope. So what am I telling you? I'm saying that if you want to perform well in mathematics and chemistry specifically, you need to concentrate on the Form 1 and form two work. Why? Because form one and form two is the foundation of chemistry and mathematics. You get that? In fact, if you will be able to understand the content in form one, the content in form two, then it means that you will not get less than 50% in mathematics and chemistry because paper one, paper two, paper one only concentrates more in Form 1 and Form 2 work. Therefore, if you, go by, if you are struggling, you are out there struggling with chemistry, do not even struggle with Form 3 and Form 4 work. Go back to Form 1. It is not too late. Go back to Form 1. Try to start. Start afresh. Step by step. Come to Form 2. The first topic, the structure of the atom, right? That is where chemistry is. The first three topics in Form 2 actually makes the basis, 
the foundation of chemistry. For you to understand chemistry fully, you need to understand these topics. Form 1. You need to understand very well acid base uh, acid basis indicators. That topic will help you to know things like when an a metal reacts with an acid, it gives you a salt and hydrogen gas. Now when you come to form two, you will be able to translate this information to an equation. That is in form two now. You see? Now you don't know this in form one. How can you write an equation in form two of a metal reacting with an acid? Are you getting that? Now, the structure, the atom, the protons, the neutrons, the electrons, very, very important in writing how to balance an equation. If you don't know the atomic, the first 20 elements, you cannot write the equation, you cannot balance it. So that's why I'm telling you that form 1 and form 2 work, very important. So I've said the topics that you need to concentrate on for you to continue or to be assisted in chemistry form 1, acid-base indicators. Air and combustion, very critical. Water and hydrogen, those are the basic that will help you. If you like, you can top up with classification of substances. Classification of substances, where you learn about separation methods. That is now the knowledge you need in Form 1. When you come to Form 2, you need the first topic, the second topic, the third topic, very very fact, and also all the yeah the third. This is the the act the structure of the atom. Then you come to chemical families, salts, chemical bonding. These four, if you are able to struggle and try to understand it, these four subtopics in form two, then now you are free from failing chemistry. The same thing in mathematics. If you do not know how to integers in form 1, you don't know that a negative times a negative is positive, that fails you through to the end. If you do not know that when I divide a negative, divide by a negative, it is a positive, that is in form 1. You are in form 4, you don't know that. It means you are going to fail. I think that. If you understand the basic information in form 2 and form 1 work, in mathematics and in, math in chemistry, that is where you are going to get your help. So, if you are a Form 4, it is not too late. Go back to Form 1. You still have a long, long time. Struggle to understand the topics I've mentioned and try to connect them to Form 2. In Form 1, Form 2, you will find the chemistry you will find mathematics very interesting as you, you continue revising. But as yeah, so long as you, you, you realize that uh, most students, they don't revise the previous classes. They don't. If those who are in Form 4 could have found time to go back to Form 1 and revise, go back to Form 2 and revise, they would not be struggling. The problem is they do not have students. Most students, they don't have time. They are on WhatsApp, they are on Facebook, they are on TikTok. So where, when do they go back to form one work? Because learning is a process. A process is something which has to be done step by step. Right? Like uh, you find I have, we have recorded a video, a video for chemistry, for example. Then a student uh, listens to it, skipping, skipping. When you skip, what are you doing? You need to be patient, learn slowly, step by step, repeat again, right? Therefore, I want to encourage you to understand that from one work, from two work is the foundation of uh, getting better grades in mathematics and chemistry. Otherwise, you will continue struggling. You will continue to struggling to the end. And if you realize yourself in Form 3 or Form 4, don't lose hope. Majority of the students, when they have choked down a lot of things in Form 1 and Form 2, when they realize themselves in Form 3 and Form 4, they opt to losing hope. Losing hope, you realize these people, looks at the content. This is chemistry, this is history, this is, I'm doing eight subjects, I have not, 
I don't know anything. So they try to figure out how to go about it. They lose hope and say, let it come the way it will come. So these are the people you find they are in a class. They are looking at you like this. You say something, they are not even interested because they have lost hope. Why have they lost hope? They forget that they do not need everything for them to score. You don't need everything. In fact, if you concentrate in the form 1 and form 2 work only, if you are at E, you are at E in that subject, why are you struggling to too much things? Do you need 90? Do you need 70? No, you need a C plus. That is what you need if you are struggling, right? Why are you reading or why are you losing hope? When you look at the content and you find these things are too much, don't struggle with them. Take the little, concentrate on, the, on that and get yourself out of your worst grade. Don't lose hope. Losing hope is not an option, right? So what I'm saying is this. If you find you have too much that you have not covered, we have paper one, we have paper two. Paper one, paper two, these are two papers which are separate. You realize paper one concentrates more on form one and form two. So you realize that 80% for on pep, in paper one is form one and form two work. 80%, I have said 80%. So if you struggle in form one and form two, get 80% in that subject and you get paper two zero. What is that? It is an average. So 80 divided by two, that's a fourth. Are you a failure? Where? So why are you struggling too much? Just concentrate on these, the things that you are able to do. Right? Yeah. So that is my advice today. That losing hope is not an option. What you need to do is to do what you can do. A begins at 80 to 100. You don't need 100 to, be, to have an A. You don't need 8 to have an A. What you need is something. Have something to present during an exam. Bye-bye.